Today I show you the quickest way how you can create really beautiful and custom radio buttons in Webflow. So we're going to take these very boring and honestly quite bad looking default radio buttons in Webflow and turn them into something like this right here. You can see with an icon and a nice check mark and this is obviously much more engaging and it will make it easier for your website visitors to fill out the form. And the best part about this is you don't have to build these radio buttons from scratch. We're going to use the input flow library. This is a completely free Webflow components library that you can use. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to create an account. And this comes with a lot of predefined and really beautiful radio buttons that you can also customize. To get to this website, just go to inputflow.com slash library and then click on radio buttons. Here you can now see we have these different radio buttons with different layouts and styles that you can just copy and paste to your Webflow project. And this is exactly what we're going to do now. I'm going to take these radio buttons right here, but you could also obviously choose the other styles, but I'm going to choose these ones right here, the image radio buttons, and I click on copy. Then I go back to Webflow and paste this right here below the label. Let's also change the label. The label should be called something like category. And now I can just take it from there and customize the styles of these radio buttons. So first of all, let's change the background of this. I change the background and for the color, I want to choose the color picker and choose the same background color as our input fields. That looks much better. Then I select the label of this radio button go to typography and set the color to white. That looks much better. And then I replace the icon, this image icon with my own icons. In this case, it's just the same icons, but in white. Next, I want to style this check icon of the radio button. So I select it and for the background color in the default state, if it's not checked or not selected, I want this to be black with a high opacity, something like this. Looks good, I think. And then I want to hide the check icon. It should not be visible here. And let's also style the checked state. So I select it again and then go to the checked state of this and switch the background color from blue in this case. This is the default one. And I want this to be yellow, so I choose the color picker again, but you can also type in your color variable or custom color here. And now we have this yellow background color. However, you can see this white check icon doesn't really look good. So I'm going to replace this check icon in the checked state with a black check icon. And it seems to have created an automatic tiling. We don't want that. So I remove the tiling with this X right here. And let's also change the width. Let's make this a little smaller, maybe 70, 70. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, I think this already looks really good. However, you might be wondering, why does this first radio button here look so weird? Because it didn't really change when we adjusted our styles for the other radio buttons. And the answer is, in this case, there is a combo class applied to it called isChecked. And with this isChecked combo class, we want to change the styles whenever this custom radio button is checked. Um, in this case, actually, I'm going to remove the background color styling when it is checked. And I only want to add a border style. So I want to give it a border of 0.1 rem. And the color of this border should be white when it is checked. I also have to select the unchecked radio button and set the border here to 0.1 rem. And in this case, I'm going to hide the border. There should still be a border so that the sizing matches, but the border in this case is going to be transparent. Only when it is selected, the border is applied. Let's publish this and have a quick look. All right, we can now see our radio buttons and you can see if I check one of the radio buttons, our custom check icon shows up with the yellow background. However, you can see this is checked combo class. So this border that is applied because of the combo class is not yet changed yet when we make a selection. And to fix that, we quickly have to go back to the input flow library. And down here where it says instructions, we have to paste this little JavaScript snippet. So I click on copy script, go back to the Webflow project, click 
on settings up here at the top to get to the page settings and then paste this inside of the head tag custom code section. And this basically just enables the functionality that the is checked combo class is removed or added depending on the selection that we make here. So let's click on publish and then let's reload the page. And now you can see when I make a selection, the is checked style is correctly removed and applied from the individual radio buttons. My recommendation to you is check out this entire website, especially these components, but also the instructions down here. There is a little more functionality that you can add to these radio buttons and everything is documented here on the website. In my opinion, this is a great way to take your Webflow forms to the next level and make them much more interesting and engaging to fill out. And another way how you can take your Webflow forms to the next level is if you turn them into really cool multi-step forms like I did right here. And actually, I've recorded a video about how you can do this quite recently. It's called Building Multi-Step Forms in Webflow and you can click on it right here and watch it now. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Mike. Have a great day. Bye.